Does God answer your prayers? I mean, does God answer your big prayers or your little prayers? Most of the people that I know who've experienced a life of prayer have stories of tiny little miracles that God has done in response to their prayers. Tiny little miracles, miracles that are insignificant, miracles that aren't necessarily the most important thing. When we think of miracles, we often think about, you know, healing someone or something along those lines, something big and dramatic. But truthfully, the tiny little miracles can strengthen our faith just as much as any of the big ones could, and sometimes even more. Today we get to hear the story of Natalie Guthrie telling us a couple miracle stories in her own life, just times when she remembered to bring something to God and He came through. I hope this is an encouragement to you. Whenever I think about prayer, the first thing that comes to mind is um, a story from my childhood um, that really kind of set my mental model for prayer um, and God at a young age. When I was five, I went on a backpacking trip with my dad and um, we, we crossed a little creek and found a campsite in the woods. Um, not an actual campground, this was just out in the middle of the woods. And we stayed for a couple days. I fished in the little creek. I caught my first fish. It was fun. But on our last night there, a torrential storm came through. And when we woke up the next morning, the little creek that we had crossed was now a raging river with whole trees going down it. And so we couldn't go back the way we'd come. So my dad, being the good outdoorsman, got out his maps and his compass, and we started trekking through the woods. As a kid, it seemed really long. It probably was a while, I don't know. Um, but we hiked for a long time, and eventually, my dad sat me down on a log and he said that we were lost and that we should pray and ask God to help us find our way out. So we did. And then immediately after we heard an engine and he said, well, it's either a plane or a truck. And then it shifted gears. So he knew it was a truck and could figure out which way the road was. And then we were able to find our way out. So that impressed very early on in my memory that prayer was powerful and that God hears them. Um, and I've seen many times throughout my life that God's really answered my prayers, certainly not every single one. There have even been occasions where he answered them before I could even pray them. Um, after Hurricane Katrina, Corey and I were down in Biloxi uh, helping clean up and uh, in the mornings they would give us like some papers uh, with like a map and a description of what needed to be done and so we got one that said the homeowner needed help with like a tree limb that was gonna fall in their house or something so we were envisioning something low and we got there and it was a really tall tree with a, a partially broken branch off and we definitely did not have the equipment to get up there we hadn't even figured out what to do. We were all just kind of standing there with our hands on our hips looking up at it. And some guy in a truck pulls up and goes, y'all need help with that limb? And gets out of his truck in tree climbing gear, climbs up the tree, cuts the limb off, climbs back down and drives away before any of us even really have a chance to say anything. Which was pretty cool. I wish I could say I always remember to take things to God. I, I, there are times when I realize that I'm stressed out about something and I haven't done that. I forget way off, more often than I should. But overall, throughout the years, he's, I always feel comfort in knowing that my prayers are heard. And that I have confidence that he'll pick what's his will and best for the situation.
Oh, I'm glad that God sometimes brings us the big miracles and the small miracles. And, and you know what? Whether God answers our prayer in the way we expect or answers our prayer in a way we don't expect, the promises of Scripture are still the same. God hears when we pray. He loves us as we pray. And He does what's best in response to our prayers. Listen, if Jesus could turn to his Heavenly Father, then certainly we should. Let me pray for you today. Lord, we just thank you for being a God who comes through. And sometimes we've asked you for things and you haven't done what we wanted you to do. But Lord, we recognize that you're still a God of miracles, big and small. And I pray today that you'd give us a little glimpse Lord, I ask that people would be bold to bring their needs to you and that you would demonstrate your goodness to us in response. Lord, just go with us today. Give us glimpses of you at work and help us to be people at work with you in the midst of this day. Thanks for all that you do for us. We seek you with our lives today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me encourage you to keep your eyes open today for the ways that God might just show you a small miracle that you can then give him credit for, you can give him praise for, and then tomorrow you can share the story with someone else of how God did a miracle in your life today. God bless you.